What's shaking fire nation? JLD here and welcome to episode 1816 of EO Fire where I chat with entrepreneurs on fire seven days a week. It's time to accomplish your number one goal in 100 days, Fire Nation. Visit thefreedomjournal.com. Shout out to today's featured guest, Ellery Wells. Ellery, are you prepared to ignite? Heck yeah, I am. Yes. Ellery <laughs> is a business coach and consultant who is an expert at creating systems and building automation. He specializes in helping busy professionals develop their exit strategy and start their businesses. Ellery, take a minute, fill in the gaps from that intro and give us a little glimpse of your personal life. Hey, thanks for having me, John. Excited to be yeah. here. So to fill in the the gaps, I am an average person, just like most of the people out there who want to do something amazing. I have, grew up in a small town, less than 3,000 people. I didn't go to an Ivy League school. I wasn't super connected. I have been fired from jobs. I've been laid off from jobs. I'm working hard. I was not born an entrepreneur. I never thought I would start my own business. And then uh, one day I was escorted out of the building as if I'd committed some major crime. Mm. Uh, and all I really did was take a personal phone call on, uh, on the work line. And I had all the trophies. I had all the success. Three weeks before I got fired, I made over $20,000 in commissions. I was an average guy pushed into uh, to entrepreneurship and just, I mean, it, it kind of, I don't know if it snowballs from there, it goes downhill from there, but uh, <laughs> that's, that uh, I want to, I want to stress that, that I did not have any special opportunity thrust on me other than being put into a position of, do I polish off the resume and, and, and beg to make money for somebody else and work for somebody else? Or do I give, give myself the the chance to see if I can make it in business. And that's what brought me, uh, it's almost uh, three and a half, four years later, that's, that's what brought us here to having this conversation today. Well, Ellery, over these years, you've developed an area of expertise. Break that down for us. What is it specifically? You know, I realize that I see the world differently than other people. I see patterns uh, even if it's just sitting in traffic or lanes merging and stuff on the highway, I just see patterns and processes all over the place. And I realize, you know, it's kind of it, you, you've probably realized this, John, where the thing that makes us kind of unique and, and talented in a certain way, we just kind of assume that that's the way that everybody is. And that's kind of how I was. I, I assumed that everybody measured, you know, step A to step B and, and logic and, and analytical just way of seeing things. And that's not true. And I, I, it took me a while, but that's the, uh, that's the skill and the talent that I realized if I could figure out how to, uh, help other people see their life as a result of past actions. And, you know, if they want to reach a goal, follow a, a system and, and create some sort of uh, automation and a path forward, uh, then we can we can all achieve great things. And whenever I realized that, that's when things started to change. I just I, it took me realizing that I don't see the world the same way that other people do uh, before things really started to change in my business. Fire Nation, what Ellery's referring to is the curse of knowledge, and it hits us all. It really does. What's obvious to you, Fire Nation, might not be that obvious to others. What <laughs> yeah. comes easily to you, you know, what you're great at or good at might not be something that others are. And if you can step out of that and really recognize that, that could be a huge business opportunity. And one tactic that I love to use and recommend to others is ask your family, your friends, your loved ones, this simple question. Hey, mom, dad, Sarah, John, if somebody was to walk up to you and say, what is Ellery good at? How would you respond to that? So that way you can start to see how other people see you and what you're good at. And who knows, something may come of that. And guess what? That could be a huge opportunity. Now, Ellery, you shared already a kind of a tough time in your life when you kind of got shooed out of your place of employment. I mean, that was tough, but you've been an entrepreneur for a while now. What is your worst entrepreneurial moment to date? Tell us that story. I think the worst entrepreneurial moment that I have had, and it's hard to say this, John, and I, I don't want to cop out and not give the answer, 
But I've also realized that in entrepreneurship and in building a business, very few things are actually wasted. Things that don't go according to plan today, we can draw on later. But I would say the thing that was probably the biggest failure that I've had in my business came just a few months after I decided to 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 dive into entrepreneurship or again polish off that resume and work for somebody else. I spent an entire month building out a membership site with courses and e-commerce and trying to learn how to accept payments and do all this kind of stuff. I didn't make a dollar from it, but I learned about membership sites. I learned about e-commerce. I learned about selling online. And there are so many things that I apply to this day and help my clients do. But that was the major thing that I, I, it's kind of embarrassing. It's kind of it's kind of one of those foundational moments, though, where I, I spent literally 30 days learning how to talk behind a microphone like this and on screen because a lot of like screen recordings and stuff. But I created an entire course, entire series of, of videos to sell, and I didn't sell a single one. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so looking back on that, Ellery, I mean, you learned a lot during that process. And What's something in hindsight you wish you knew? Like, what's the lesson, the takeaway that you want Fire Nation to really get from your story? From that specific story, I would say think about the fact that you're good enough to start, but you're not good enough to win. You're not good enough to finish yet. Mo uh, you talk to people just like I do, John, and we both probably realize, or I assume you've realized what I've realized, is that people don't under always understand the value that they could bring to the table. We've got life experiences, we've got training, we've got practice and knowledge that is valuable to somebody else. But like you said, it's the curse of knowledge. We just assume that that everybody has those things. And, and too many people undervalue what they have to offer. And the reason why that ties in is, again, you're good enough to start, but you might not be good enough to finish. The, the skills that got you on the team won't help you win the championship. And I was good enough to... Uh, start this membership thing and 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 get things going, but I did not have the quality to really make it successful. So I got started. I took that initiative. That's that's kind of half the battle, but I didn't have the skills and talents to see it through, and I was not investing in myself in that way at that time to really make that successful. And anybody who's listening, Fire Nation, you're good enough to start, but you've got to keep improving on your skills. Got to keep getting better. Uh, you can you can show up, but showing up is is not the end. You've got to keep going in and really learn how to improve your craft. Fire Nation, you are good enough to start. You are good enough to start. So guess what? Start. Take that first step. You know, listen to that quote by Martin Luther King that you don't have to see the full staircase to take that first step. Take action make a mistake, learn, adjust, pivot, and then take another step. And Ellery, you've had a lot of great ideas over the years, my friends. What is one of the great aha moments that you've had? Take us to an aha moment that would make a great story for Fire Nation. Tell us that story and how you turned that idea into success. My aha moment was I was in Florida. I was going to talk to a group of podcasters where it, the uh, the group that now is like Podfest Miami or something is a it's a pretty big group now, but the night before I was going to talk to these thirty or forty guys and girls, I had this dream. And as corny John as it sounds, I <laughs> I had literally had a dream. And I was sitting there in a, a truck. I don't I got an SUV. It wasn't my car, but I was sitting in this car, and it was late at night. And I was in the driver's seat, and my foot was on the brake. And all of these cars were just driving past me. And some were going fast, some were going slow. And then up in front of me, there was a, a divide in the highway. I could go left or I could go right. You know, it wasn't like left to success or, or you know, to, to doom over here on the, on the right or whatever. It was just a decision. But I was sitting on the side of the road. The car was in drive, but my foot was on the brake. And there was somebody in the car with me. I don't know who it was. Uh, I'm sure you could get all philosophical about it. But the person next to me looked at me and says, Ellery, nobody's going to tell you to go. 
And it was in that moment, the night before I went and talked to this group of podcasters about the power of podcasting, that I realized that nobody is going to tell me to go. Nobody's going to tell me to take my foot off the brake and step on the gas and, and move forward and do something. And the first time that concept ever came in my head, I think, was back when I was in sales uh, in corporate America. And someone told me nobody was ever going to take my career as seriously as as me. And that's that, that's also very true. But in entrepreneurship and growing your business, nobody's going to come and tell us that now is your time. We we bless you with this ability to move forward. Nobody told – in fact, John, I remember your story. I remember listening to when you were um, on Pat Flynn's podcast pro- possibly the first time, maybe the second time. And you were talking about how you made the decision and you were told by all these people that a daily podcast would not work, but you decided to do it anyway. And not just any people. We're talking about <laughs> Cliff Ravenscraft, the podcast people. answer man, like Jamie Masters, my you know, my mentor, you know, both of whom, by the way, gave me incredible amounts of great ideas and incredible amounts of great strategies. But yeah, not everything. And ultimately you had to decide to release your foot from the brake and stomp on the gas. And man, you have totally done that <laughs> in more ways than one. But uh, but that was that was kind of my aha moment that nobody's nobody's going to give me this tap or this blessing for me to pursue my dreams and, and go after my goals and do what I want to do. I that had to really come from within and I had to figure out, you know, surrounding myself with like-minded people and finding coaches and mentors and those kinds of things. But I had to find it within myself to really step on the gas, not only step on the gas, but to take my foot off the brake. I think those are two Ooh. key components in there. And that was my aha moment. If, if you're going to go, you, you've got to be the one to put yourself in the driver's seat or actually better yet, recognize that you're already there and then take your foot off the brake. Fire Nation, don't wait for somebody to anoint you because you might be waiting for the rest of your life. I mean, if you need somebody to give permission, then guess what? Eller and I are giving you permission. But (laughs) the real truth here is you don't need permission from anybody. Just give yourself that permission. Take that foot off the brake. Step on the gas and see what happens. Stomp it. Now, Ellery, what are you most fired up about today? I'm actually launching a product. I know a lot of people talk about products, what they're doing, because we're entrepreneurs. Um, but I, and I'm working on a, a program that is very similar to others that are out there, but also very different. In my book, Exit Strategy, I talked about an eight-week plan of if I were to start all over again, what I would do, and I outlined it. And then I realized – well, people need a little bit of the carrot, need a little bit of the stick. They need the accountability, and they get a lot of uh, get a lot, get some confusion when they get into the weeds. I like getting into the weeds with the tech stuff, and uh, that's that's what I am working on. I it, the thing that really fires me up, John. If I can if I can pull back the curtain of of my mentality yeah. a little bit, is when I get emails from people like. Chris, I won't mention his last name, but he's actually in San Diego, your your old uh, stomping grounds. And he emailed me one morning, and it was 6.45 a.m., and he had read Exit Strategy, and he said, Ellery, just like you talked about, I'm sitting in my car with a knot in my stomach because I don't want to go inside. Uh, that's what fires me. That's, that makes me angry that I have not helped people like Chris enough to where they don't have to have that same feeling that I used to have before going into an environment that is toxic, that is hostile, where you are miserable. When you come home grumpy, you may be making great money or maybe not. Um, that's that's, that's kind of why I started this program. That's why I wrote my book. I figured why not me? Who better to teach people, uh, you know, than than me. I mean, I don't I don't know everything, but we've all got to kind of step up to the plate at some point. <laughs> uh, but that's what fires me up. That's what I'm excited right now is helping people like Chris not go back to their office as for as few days in the future as possible, so that they can not be sick to their stomach when they swipe their key card and walk into the building. 
And again, it's kind of corny. I feel like it's corny. Maybe it's not. But John, every time I've told that story and every time I've talked about my experience of, of actually sitting right where I'm standing right now and being just just sick to my stomach, dreading logging into my work computer. Every time I tell that story, somebody emails me and says, you know what, Ellery? I, that that's me. You're talking to me, and it's weird because it feels like you're you're talking to me right across, uh, right across the table from me. And whenever I get emails like that one from Chris, whenever I get stories like that, it uh, it makes me put down my PS4 controller sometimes, <laughs> and uh, and get, and get back to work, and and figure out a way that I can help them not have that that sick to their stomach feeling. Well, Ellery, you are speaking to people within Fire Nation right now. I have no doubt that you are penetrating some of the listeners that are, you know, there um, or that were recently there or, you know, that just recognize that, hey, this guy's speaking the truth. And if you think Ellery has been dropping value bombs, Fire Nation, you are right. But more are coming in the lightning round when we get back from thanking our sponsors. We all strive to create disruptive concepts that help provide value to millions around the world like Storyblocks, the first and only subscription-based stock media company that offers unlimited downloads of member library content. Most stock sites offer a set number of downloads or media assets that aren't updated regularly, but with Storyblocks, you have access to an unlimited number of high-value stock media files that are updated regularly by artists from around the world. This means you get to download all the stock your heart desires from their member library, which includes 400,000 stunning photos, vectors, textures, and icons. Plus, all content is royalty-free, so you can use it for commercial and personal projects. Visit storyblocks.com slash fire to try it free for seven days. That's storyblocks, S-T-O-R-Y-B-L-O-C-K-S dot com slash fire. Time is one of your most precious resources and finding the perfect hire can result in you having more time to focus on your mission and goals. But what about the time it takes to find that perfect hire? That's why there's Zip Recruiter. With Zip Recruiter, you can post your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards with just one click. Then Zip Recruiter puts its smart matching technology to work, actively notifying qualified candidates about your job within minutes. In fact, that's why Zip Recruiter is different. Unlike other hiring sites, Zip Recruiter doesn't depend on the right candidates finding you, it finds them. No wonder 80% of employers who post on Zip Recruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. Find out today why Zip Recruiter has been used by growing businesses of all sizes to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. Post your job on Zip Recruiter for free. That's right, for free. Visit ziprecruiter.com slash fire. That's ziprecruiter.com slash fire. And one more time, Fire Nation, to try it for free, go to ziprecruiter.com slash fire. Ellery, are you ready to rock the lightning rounds? I wish I had a cool analogy to say yes, <laughs> but like Zeus. What was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? Fear that I couldn't step up to the plate and figure things out. What is the best advice you've ever received? Nobody's going to take your career, your success more seriously than you or more seriously than me in this case. What's a personal habit that contributes to your success? I sometimes work really long hours, but I also work for three or four hours, take a three or four hour break, work for three or four hours. I, I try not to get burned out doing something that I really love. So I take frequent breaks. Recommend one internet resource. So I did my my thinking before we hopped on and I was thinking, what <laughs> what has what is one of those tabs that opens up every time I open up Chrome? And have you ever heard of Wave Apps for your accounting software? Never. It's free. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of ones out there. When you've got a small business, I didn't need to pay thirty dollars a month for something I'm gonna use two or three months out of the year, you know, when you're getting your taxes ready. Wave apps is completely free waveapps.com. I wish I had an affiliate for them because I recommend them all the time, <laughs> but I connect my PayPal and Stripe accounts. All that stuff goes uh, right into right into there and I can reconcile it. it. makes it real easy to get all of my taxes prepared 
and I'm not stuck paying, you know, several hundred dollars a year for something I don't need, but, you know, a couple times a year. Recommend one book to join your book on our bookshelves, of course, and share why. So <laughs> my, my book was, was Exit Strategy. I'm going to see if you've listened or you've had anybody recognize, recommend this one, John. The Power of Positive Living by Norman Vincent Peale. No, never. It isn't. It is an old book. This one, I think I got it at like a half price books like 20 years ago. And it said, yeah, so this one's a 1990 version. Um, but it's The Power of Positive Living by Norman Vincent Peale. And it helped me come up with one of my personal mottos. You can't make a positive change with a negative attitude. There's a lot of negativity out there. There's a lot of people that can complain and point fingers at everybody else. But if you want to make a change, Uh, Try being the person who smiles first in the room. Mm -hmm. And uh, Norman Vincent Peale made his whole brand, Power Positive Thinking, Positive Blah, Blah, Blah. And uh, the one that I read, Positive Living, um, I thought that might be unique for for your listeners, but I I really like that one. Would highly recommend it. Very unique. And Fire Nation, don't forget Exit Strategy by Ellery Wells. And is that an audio version as well available? You are not the first person to ask me that. I haven't finished it yet. You should be embarrassed as a fellow podcaster, Ellery. What's I, going on? I am. It's exhausting. It it's is exhausting actually. It's a doing, lot of work, I will say. It, it really is. I've started it. Um, but I'll, anybody who's wanting to write a book, before you publish it, do the audio book. Seriously. Because that, that will give you, A, the motivation to finish it, but it will also, as you read it aloud, you'll realize that things don't sound aloud <laughs> the way that they would sound in your head. So I should have done the audio book uh, long Well, long Ellery, time. I'm going to cut you off here and say, put down the PS4 controller and do yeah. your flipping audio book. And <laughs> give us a parting piece of guidance, the best way that we can connect with you, and then we'll say goodbye. A parting piece of guidance, uh, I'll give you the two that we've already talked about. No one's going to tell you to go. No one's going to tell you to get your, your foot off the brake. you got to do that yourself. And you can't make a positive change with a negative attitude. And I've never done this before, John. I did not give this to even Pat. But I want to give away the first 60 pages Whoa. of Exit Strategy at elleriewells.com slash fire. I love it. I love it. And Fire Nation, I love that you know that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And you've been hanging out with Ellery and JLD today. So keep up the heat. And of course, go over to elleriewells.com slash fire. And you're going to get the first 60 pages of Exit Strategy for free. And any other final CTAs, Ellery? Do something. Get off your butt. Take foot off the brake and do at least one thing today that will move your business forward. One thing you can do, Fire Nation, is head over to eofire.com, type Ellery in the search bar, and his show notes page is going to pop up with everything we've been talking about today. These are the best show notes in the biz. These are better than Ellery's show notes. We have timestamps. We have links. We have everything. And of course, head over to elleriwells.com slash fire. Get exit strategy, the first 60 pages for free. Para gratis. Ellery, thank you for sharing your journey with Fire Nation today. For that, brother, we salute you and... We'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, man. You have an awesome day. Hey, Fire Nation. Hope you enjoyed our chat with Ellery today. And check out our free podcasting course so that you can create, grow, and monetize your own podcast. Visit freepodcastcourse.com and I will catch you there or I'll catch you on the flip side. Time is one of your most precious resources and finding the perfect hire can result in you having more time to focus on your mission and goals. But what about the time it takes to find that perfect hire? That's why there's Zip Recruiter. Find out today why Zip Recruiter has been used by growing businesses of all sizes to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. Post your job on Zip Recruiter for free. That's right, free. Just visit ZipRecruiter.com slash fire. Get access to an unlimited number of high-value stock media files that are updated regularly by artists from around the world. Visit storyblocks.com slash fire to try it for free for seven days. That's storyblocks, S-T-O-R-Y-B-L-O-C-K-S dot com slash fire.